From the Oklahoma newsroom, this is a Thunder update. I'm Jenny Carlson here with Thunder beat writer Eric Horn. Eric, preseason really getting going this week, Wednesday, as the Thunder has their first preseason game. It's going to be here in Oklahoma City against Detroit, but they scrimmaged on Sunday, a close scrimmage. You had a chance, though, to be there. Are we starting to get a sense of what the starting lineup's going to be, at least during the preseason and, and maybe a while into the regular season, just depending on Russell Westbrook and Andre Robertson's availability? I think at four of the five positions, I, I think you're good. Dennis Schroeder, Stephen Adams, Paul George, I think those are obvious ones. Schroeder taking Westbrook's place in the starting lineup. And then Patrick Patterson, I think, is going to be the guy at uh, power forward who would have uh, been the starter last year had Carmelo Anthony not showed up, um, or they traded for Carmelo Anthony two days before training camp. Uh, Patterson's reshaped his body. He looks like he's in really great shape. Uh, he's going to be a defensive upgrade from Anthony. Uh, just a matter of him making shots, creating space uh, for it, whether it's Westbrook, Schroeder, or Paul George, guys that are attacking from the perimeter. Um, but, you know, shooting guard is a real question, and it's going to kind of be a rotation of guys, it seems like right now. Terrence Ferguson, Alex Abrinas, uh, Timothy Luawu Cabarro. I said that right. Nice job. Uh, and, you know, <laughs> you're going to see a lot of different bodies there, even a Hamadou Diallo, who's a rookie this year. And uh, it doesn't seem like that is a set position. Uh, in Robertson's absence just yet. Seems like Billy Donovan's probably going to rotate those guys around. Well, let's talk a little bit more about that shooting guard uh, spot because it sounds like Robertson, unlike Westbrook, is a little bit longer term uh, being out. His recovery is going to take a little longer. Um, so we're talking about, you know, potentially m a couple months before we see Andre Robertson. We know Billy Donovan has, uh, you know, has in his, his, his background, you know, rolling guys through, maybe going with a guy for a while, then you don't see that guy for a while. How might this all play out? Because he's got, when you look at the guys who could fit in there, they're pretty different guys, Eric. Yeah, I think a lot of it depends on uh, how healthy some of these guys are throughout the course of, of preseason and then going into the regular season. Alex Abrinas is a guy who only had one contact practice the first week of preseason because of back spasms. And he's a guy who's battled with injuries throughout his career. Now, he played 75 games last year, but he was slowed down in those 75 games by some little nagging injuries, whether it's the, the knee issues he's been dealing with since he was probably 20 years old at Barcelona, uh, to concussions, to hip contusions. Abrinas always seems to have something going on. I think he would be the guy who would possibly get the start there because the Thunder needs as much shooting as possible on the floor, and he showed defensive improvement yeah. when Andre Robertson went out last year. But if he's hurt and he hasn't been in contact, then it's going to be difficult for Billy Donovan to just throw him out there suddenly. He started Terrence Ferguson in the scrimmage on Sunday, rotated Hamadou Diallo in of the first wave of uh, substitutions. So I think he's probably going to go with the young guys first. Timothy Luawu Cabrero will probably be a guy who's going to get some rotation minutes, but uh, he wasn't the starter in the scrimmage. If there's anything we could say about the scrimmage is that, you know, we have, uh, we have evidence that Billy Donovan has used scrimmage lineups and turned that into something that he uses in the regular season. He started DeMontis Sabonis in the, uh, the blue and white scrimmage two years ago, and he wound up starting 66 games as a, uh, as a rookie. So, I mean, at this point, I wouldn't be surprised if Terrence Ferguson started the year as shooting guard, even though he really struggled defensively last year. It's really interesting to think about just the, the different uh, pieces that, that these guys are. Mm -hmm. I mean, when you talk about... You know, whether it's Ferguson and Diallo who are, you know, more young, athletic. I guess they're all young. I mean, come on, let's get serious here. They're all young, but those <laughs> guys are particularly, you know, just really getting started in their careers. But then you look at uh, a guy like Timmy, uh, <laughs> Timote uh, Luwalu Cabarro, or even uh, Abdel Nader, maybe a little bit more on the, the, the tall side as it relates to, to playing that shooting guard. So really some different looks kind of depending on what Billy Donovan wants to see, I assume. Yeah, and, and you've got just a bunch of young candidates at that spot. Uh, it, you know, it's really not as important, I think, at that position who starts necessarily, more so of who gets the bulk of the minutes. Right. And, um, you know, you've got, you got five, five or so guys ages 25 and under. Hamadou Diallo and Terrence Ferguson are two guys who are hyper-athletic. Billy Donovan said he wanted to see how that athleticism matched up with Paul George. Mm -hmm. And, you know, it might be a situation where he goes with those young guys in the beginning of the season because, basically, he's trying to preserve bodies in Alex Abrinas, and he wants those guys to get in the mix early and be engaged. And Billy Donovan always says he likes to keep guys engaged. Uh, it would be a perfect opportunity uh, waiting for Robertson to come back, taking their time with Westbrook coming back to get those guys some, some repetitions early 
possibly against Golden State and the Clippers in that first week of the regular season. All right, again, Wednesday, first full-fledged preseason game for the Thunder. It's going to be at the peak. No TV, though, 7 o'clock start. If you got tickets, I assume it'll be on radio if you want to listen in, but no TV for this one. So if you want to see, you got to go. Be sure to stay with the best coverage team anywhere at newsok.com and every day in the Oklahoman.